November 12th, we will witness one of the most violent, chaotic and ruthless fights in the history of UFC. Alex Poatan Pereira is back in action after defeating his toughest rival's bodyguard, Jan, and he'll be facing the real samurai of MMA world and one of the most dangerous and unpredictable men on the planet Earth, Jiri Prohaska, in potentially the craziest fight ever. And a very quick reminder before we start, man, we need your support and subscription to our channel, so it's super necessary for you to hit this subscription button with any of your powerful shots, unless you want Jiri Prohaska to find you. I'm coming. I'm coming! 31 years old Czech samurai is not here to win rounds or taking decisions. He is here to do what's needed to take the W and his opponent's soul. <laughs> Kill or be killed with his blade or by it. Prohaska fought three killers in UFC and finished all of them. His deadly samurai elbow finished Dom Reyes UFC ambitions and he was the guy to choke someone who can't be choked. And right now he wants to challenge Poatan in striking. And we all remember what happened with the last guy who wanted that smoke. 29 wins, 28 finishes, he's a real savage, but he's fighting someone who doesn't care about your W's and L's, he just goes in there with a very bad and dangerous ambitions. Six foot four with 79 inch reach, professional MMA killer with a deadly instinct, no emotions and cold warrior spirit. Alex Poatan Pereira has been named stone faced for a reason. When he knocks out cold your deadly body, he doesn't even show his emotions, he already thinks about his next scalp. Former two times glory champion and former 185 champ, he's someone who made Izzy Adesanya stop his career because he told Strickland what to do and moved up to another division, demolishing everyone. Alex Pereira already killed three UFC champions in his six pro fights and November 12th he's facing another one. Hi guys, the tie has come. The last samurai who trains everything, starting from sitting in the dark in a closed room for three days, finishing hitting trees for 500 times straight. Prohaska is a true knockout artist and you can imagine whatever you want from him. Spinning elbows from out of nowhere, crazy flying knees attempt from the ground or even takedown against pure wrestler. Some people call him low IQ fighter, but they are casuals. He just doesn't care about game plans and tactics, he goes there for kill. His style involves different tie and kickboxing techniques with some karate movements, but he's a very unorthodox fighter. Seeing him hitting pets a bit crazy, but if one of those punches lands, you're done. And his opponent from Brazilian favelas, ex-glory champion and one of the most dangerous strikers ever alongside Dylan Danis and Ben Askren. <laughs> Fast calf kicks which kill your legs so fast, sharp knees and his deadliest weapon which can cause several brain damages, left hook. Predator is also known with his flying knees and you know, Alex does not work as a southpaw, he doesn't need another stance to catch you and sent into another dimension. <laughs> Both men got same weaknesses, lack of ground game and defense, but the best defense for both of them is their offense. Trust me guys, they don't need this stuff and they don't have it. The best game plan for both is pure violence, trading shots from bell to bell, making their opponents pray for DLX and fast finish. They truly match each other in there, but what would I advise for these warriors? Starting from Jiri, Prohaska's defense is worse even than Poatan's, despite the numbers. Jiri was almost killed by 41 years old Glover in a stand-up, and if he stays wide open like this, Alex will break him down into atoms. So I would Propose Jiri to be a mixed martial artist in this fight. Combine striking and wrestling. Press Alex to the fence and don't be so explosive in round one. Cause fresh Poatan at 205 is more dangerous than prime Bermuda triangle. What a statement you just made, my friend! Wow! As for Alex, very fast and explosive start, he's a better striker and more active for sure. Prohaska hasn't fought for ages, so Poatan must surprise him only with his calf kicks, loading his rifle. Alex is not that durable in 205, he was tied early against Blachowicz, so it's better not to go into deep waters with this crazy man.
It's a crazy fight between two crazy men. No way it goes to a decision, even if it was a three-rounder. Both got crazy finish rate, and I'm also sure that one will finish another, but let's find out who'll get that W. We saw some holes in Jiri's game, in terms of a stand-up. Well, he was fighting Glover. Alex can easily use it. As for Pereira, he was able to stop Blachowicz's grappling and outwork him then. Prochaska will hardly shoot as for me, but Fresh Poatan will easily defend his attempts. Chin and exchanges, both lose it and both got some moments with their holder. Alex been recently slept and Jiri's been taking too much damage in his recent fights, so they I would say 50-50, but Poatan's more explosive in terms of his shots. And I clearly see him wobbling Jiri in an exchange with his deadly weapon. And then Jiri will shoot and will be arm triangled so bad by Poatan. That's fucking illegal! Okay, I'm joking. I consider Pereira as more accurate and technical striker. He's so active and hungry, we ain't sure about Jiri's shoulder and how he will cope with inactiveness against such a killer. So I would say Alex Poatan Pereira will finish Jiri Prohaska before championship rounds. And how will he do it? We will see November 12th at MSG on pay-per-view. Okay, dude, thanks for your attention. Write below everything you think about this one. Who are you rooting for? Who takes the W and how? And uh, do you actually believe in potential Adesanya Pereira third boxing fight somewhere in 2027? Okay, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, because Puatan is watching you.